Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Time for your daily dose of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today we're going to try another kind of what-if scenario and try out something extreme. And I had a number of you suggest something like this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take one light cruiser and see if that one light cruiser can take out five battleships. Now, obviously, in order to give myself a chance, we have started out by making this a 1940 uh, light cruiser versus... Uh, 1900 battleships uh, so we will see if that is at all possible now I've got a little bit of an engine efficiency issue that I've got to deal with uh, and I'm, I'm looking at this and it looks like these three this triple funnel is just not enough funnel capacity is 18 on that so let me see if there's a, a better way to get this done it looks like that's not going to be possible it appears I may have a problem I can't deal with, which is uh, this funnel issue. So um, I'll figure that out in a second. But in the meantime, I've got one triple eight inch gun on the front of this light cruiser. Uh, I've got 15 torpedo tubes on each side, and we've armed those with 24 inch torpedoes with oxygen propulsion and uh, super heavy shells, of course, and high TNT explosives. So we can try and get penetration with, with those eight inch shells, which I should be able to do. Um, but we've got to, it looks like we're going to have to drop the speed in order to get engine efficiency. So unfortunately, I've got to drop all the way to 26 knots. But I think we'll be okay. Uh, that just really affected my weight offset, unfortunately. Uh, so now I've got an issue there that I'm probably going to have to deal with by removing some torpedo tubes. Um, looks like raising up the bulkheads offsets it a little bit. All right, we may just have to have to go with less efficiency or try to find some other way of dealing with the weight. Let's see what this does. That didn't do a whole lot. The efficiency stays the same. All right. Okay, so what I've gone with is I've changed this over to, uh, instead of having two uh, five torpedo tube uh, sets, I, I went to two threes. And that's pretty much dealt with the weight offset. It's almost even now. Um, our engine efficiency is 98%. That's going to have to do uh, we're 26 and a half knots. So one light cruiser against five battleships. Now, as with the other times I've done this, we will tweak it until we get a decent fight. Uh, so if it seems like this is going too easy for me, I will uh, raise the, the year for these battleships and give them a better chance. Uh, if it goes too hard for me, then uh, we'll drop it. So we'll find the kind of the sweet spot here. And we've obviously already gotten our first set of torpedoes in the water. We'll see how damaging his shells are to me when they start landing. And we'll see how mine do against him when I can start getting some hits. Let's get a look at the Memphis. Got our cage mast on the front because it was actually the, the most... Uh, effective tower that I was able to choose. Might get our first hit here. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We got an ammo detonation and a, a sinking with the guns on the very, very first shot to land. Sank him. So, all right, so we might be dealing with something that's a little too easy. We'll see how it happens with the next one. Might have to go to destroyers instead of light cruisers. Now these torpedoes obviously were meant to sink the first guy, so nothing much gonna happen there. Might need to change my angle just a tad. He actually hasn't landed a hit on me yet. Now that time we got mid-belt penetration, only 59 damage, so it might have just been a really lucky shot that first time. We'll see what he does when he starts landing on me. We just fired some torpedoes. Yeah, see, now we're not getting... We just got a really lucky hit that first time. Let's see where the torpedoes are. That's the original spread that I fired. They're just going to miss. He 
he's starting to turn now. We got our smoke out there. Wanna get a look at these guys. Kaiser's not looking good. Okay, so he's got 11 inch guns. And with the lack of armor that I have, I would think he would be able to really do some damage if he lands a good hit. With 11 inch guns. Because I've only got 2 inch armor. Now it is advanced armor compared to what he has. So that certainly makes it stronger. But I am taking some damage. There's a couple of decent hits. We may sink him. Where are my torpedoes? Let's turn this way a little more because my torpedoes are out on the rear here. Alright, we sank the Kaiser. I have a feeling that a 24 inch torpedo would do some pretty heavy damage to an. 1900 battleship. getting out in front of him, so I'm going to go ahead and start turning here. The Deutschland. I'm going to bring up the speed a little now. These torpedoes take a while to reload. 468 seconds. 780 seconds for the ones that have five. I may have been better off to go with a bunch of singles, so the reload time's a lot shorter. So we could be firing off single ones a little more rapidly instead of firing off a whole big spread at one time. We may try that, see how that goes instead. We're still a long way off from being able to fire more torpedoes. And that leaves me kind of stuck because Torpedoes are meant to be my main my main source of causing damage right now. And I've just got a long time to wait to be able to fire them. Now speaking of torpedoes, he's got one in the water. Thankfully, light cruisers are really easy to maneuver. So that one's not even going to come close. Oh, the Deutschland's almost sunk. So I don't land many hits, but it doesn't take much. Okay, we've got a torpedo in the water now. So does he. I did. I was looking at the wrong ship. I was looking at his, I think. Yeah, we're going to come right down the middle of these guys, which is really dangerous <laughs> to be this close to battleships with a light cruiser. Because he could really get... All he needs is one lucky hit, and I'm toast. that torpedo. Alright, here we go with three of ours. It's a tough angle to hit with a torpedo though, because he, he doesn't have to turn nearly as much. I'm going to go ahead and start firing on one of these other ones. Yeah, we're going to miss with all three. 
wasn't the wisest of angles to fire torpedoes from. Yeah, we're gonna have some trouble now. I got a little aggressive when to come in close like this. Where's this one headed? All right, we're good. I don't think you're gonna dodge these ones, dude. Let's see if that's enough to sink him. We're gonna get three hits. I think that should sink him. Yep. <laughs> Deutschland's up. And there's an ammo detonation sinking. Some burning metal was flying that way. And these should be the winning torpedo hits here. I'll have to bring his technology up a little bit, but that could make things interesting. I'm definitely going to rethink how I do my torpedoes. But these two should kill him. Yep. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and back to the drawing board, see if we can make this a little fairer fight. Okay, so we're going to take this up to 190. Oh, let's go 1910. Uh, that might be too much for me to handle, but we're going to give it a try. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at these torpedo tubes. And this time, um, let's see, we'll go Light Cruiser 3 again. And this time with the torpedo tubes, what we're going to do is, oh, that's, I guess there's two different Light Cruiser 3s, huh? What's the difference between the two? This one's got a little bit less hull, or more hull form, less st stability. Uh, we'll go with, oh, that's weird. Oh, I know why. Ah, we did that before. That's how we had the room for it. So, triple funnel goes right in there. Cage mass medium was our front tower before, and that's, ah. We can move it back a little further. Secondary tower, the rear tower seems to be a little better in some ways. At least for the things that I want it for. Then we got to get our big gun, which is an 8 inch. And we'll stick it right up front. As far up as we can, because maybe we can get some torpedo tubes here. If not, then we'll slide that forward a little bit. Torpedo launcher. So this time, we're going to go with twos. Because two seems to be enough, or at least it was. I don't know if it still will be. This will allow them to reload a little faster. Plus give me a little more flexibility as far as the aiming goes. They're going to have limited aiming ability, but that's okay. And it looks like we can slap some on the edge here. And again, we're going to we're going to have to rely a lot on the angle of my attack since I won't be able to turn these all that much. Um, so where's that put me? The ship's overweight, which will correct with the armor. Yeah, I know that the guns have poor sectors of fire. We're going to do all this to get the most efficient engines possible. Let's see where we're at at the moment. We're at 81%, so again, we're going to have to drop the speed to get 100% efficiency, and we may need to do that again. Now, we don't want all or nothing. Let's go turtle back. As much protection as possible because I have a feeling he's going to cause a little more damage this time around. Uh, we're good on weight offset. It's only 0.8%. Let's see what how that changes when we start upgrading everything. 24 inch. I like the oxygen for this. Aiming, reloading. Uh, radar 1, I think we'll go with. Now we're at a 5.5% offset. We can probably correct that by removing a couple of these. I only took it to 3.8. It almost wasn't worth it. Although I've got so many here in the center that maybe I can get away with less on the rear. There, that gets us to 0.84 offset. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, there was a better way to deal with that. Let's go ahead and put those back because we can slide this forward. 
and that pretty much corrects it. It's only 1.5% now. All right, now the question is, engine efficiency still 100%. I think we're good. Can we go any higher without losing that? No, not really. All right, I think we're good. I'm just double checking everything to make sure I didn't miss something. Let's see if he has a chance on me now. One light cruiser, five battleships, this time 1910 technology for the battleships. I have a feeling he's going to win this, but I'm hoping that the difference with my torpedoes helps. Now, we just threw a bunch of them in the water right off the bat. I'm not crazy about that. In fact, what I'm probably going to do here is turn off the torpedo firing until we get a little closer because that's a lot of torpedoes just to throw at one guy who can probably avoid it. I'd rather those tor torpedoes were going at the five back here. It's interesting he's got one this far up. I don't know how quickly he's going to spot those. I'm actually going to start firing at these guys back here. Because if these torpedoes do hit, then I'll have them. Yeah, I think he's going to be able to avoid these. If he can get turned to the right, and it looks like he will. Oh boy. Yeah, you can see how that technology is making a difference. I mean, he he's already lighting me up. I'm not going to get very far with 1910. These battleships are starting to really be able to nail me. And he's actually getting a lot of his hits with his secondaries. Four inch and second and four inch and six inch guns are doing a lot of this damage. Maybe 1905 is going to be the sweet spot for this. Yeah, every time I see a volley come in, I think, oh, I'm done. Just goes to show you how much the technology makes a difference. Even just 10 years. His secondaries are just lighting me up. Yeah, I'm done. I am so done. Now, maybe starting out a little further away might make a difference because of the difference in accuracy. In fact, let's try that. Let's try the same time period, but start out further back. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to have one... Uh, with five, three, with three, and we're going to do two big guns this time. We're going to start out uh, from 10,000 meters out instead of 5,000. Uh, take advantage of my better accuracy with that range a little bit, and uh, let's see where we're at on everything else. We're definitely going to try to protect ourselves the best we can. And right now, where are we at on... We're at 100% engine efficiency, so that's good. We'll see if we're still there after we make all of these other changes. This time, I'm going to go with the electric. Uh, they have a little bit less range, but they have a 87.5% reduction in detection range, and they're 50% more accurate. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know what their range is actually going to be. But I would think they would be a more effective range than his guns will be. Uh, we're still at 100% engine efficiency, so that's good. Let's see if we can get more torpedoes just in case. I don't know that I'm going to last that long. I'm probably going to have to take him out a little sooner than that. Um, I think we're good on everything else. Anti-flood's good. Let's raise up those bulkheads. Uh, that Four weight offset, pretty good. I think we're all set. All right, let's try this. Still 1910 technology for the enemy. 
Uh, but this time we're starting out at twice the distance. And we have a second large gun. So let's see how that does. Smoke right away. We're going to go with uh, high explosives just because I think these 8-inch guns with super heavy shells should have, uh, especially with, high, with TNT, uh, should definitely have the penetration to do that. So we'll double the speed, at least for now. All we need to, we need to drop down to the more accurate speed. So you can start to see that own cruise speed bonus going up. So now we're lobbing six shells at a time at him. We also just fired a spread of torpedoes. Now obviously I'm pretty far away. But you never know when we might get lucky, and hopefully by the time he sees him, it's too late. Haven't hit him yet. I like the fire rate on these things. They only take 20-some uh, seconds to reload these 8-inch guns. So we have a pretty steady fire rate. Nothing yet. We've got three that have been completely blocked. So We'll see what happens once he turns, but we may need to switch to AP. Because these are not... That's five that have been completely blocked. So at least for now, we might need to switch over. There's a little bit of penetration. A little bit there too. Damage his rudder. Which is interesting because it looked like that one hit in the middle somewhere. There's a lot of guns on this thing. One, two, three, four, five turrets. I'm not sure where my torpedoes are at this point. I'm already down to 91%, so it just may be that 19 te technology is too much for a light cruiser. Bit, try and change my angle on him some. Make it a little harder for him. I know where my torpedoes are. Wish there was some easier way to see those, but that wouldn't exactly be realistic if you could just see them highlighted somewhere. If I can knock out one or two before I take too much damage, I might have a fighting chance. Ooh, that was a tough... Oh, that was another bad hit. Two of them. Not getting a lot of accuracy on my part. Not enough, anyway. It's a nice hit. Man, I'm already halfway down on flooding, though. Ooh, another one. More torpedoes in the water. No luck on those so far. We'll follow these ones, see what happens. And three more behind those. Oh, so much damage already. First spread's right here, second one's right here behind it. We're not going to get the lead guy, at least not with that first group. Probably not with the second one either. I'm hoping maybe I'll nail one of the ones behind him. 
I'm already down half on damage though. I'm just not causing enough damage on 1910 battleships with 8 inch guns. These ones are a little more spread out, which doesn't appear to be a good thing for me at the moment. This guy might be the only one I have a chance to hit. And if he's spotted them, then I won't. Depends on how quickly he's going to spot them. He's going to turn right down the middle of them. Miss them both. Yeah. Nothing happening with these torpedoes. Where's the second group? They're right here, and they're a little too far spread out. This one's going to maybe hit. Oh! Oh! Wow, that was so close. That might be the excitement of the day for me. Because I'm done. I'm done. I wasn't hitting from 10,000 meters and getting in close. He's doing all the hitting and I'm still not. Alright, we sank one of them before he got me. That's it. Alright, this time we are going to go with a semi-armored cruiser. Give ourselves a little more protection. And we've actually got a lot of weight left over uh, to be able to add some armor to this thing. So we could also go with speed. I'm not entirely sure I want to do that. Uh, I think we'll try to give ourselves a little bit of protection. So we can get up. Let's try... Uh, it looks like five is the max, so I guess we're going to max everything out at five. Semi-armored cruiser is only going to let me go that high. And that should give a little bit of weight left over. Maybe for a little more speed if the engine efficiency will permit. So let's go ahead with that. 26 and a half will drop just a hair of belt extended armor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here I am thinking, wow, it's really cool I can put those those five torpedo tubes in those spots and that's because we haven't put a tower in yet. What is in the way that this cage mast overlaps with border? Oh, it's these darn things, isn't it? I guess we're going to have to go with those. All right, so we've only got three torpedo tubes on each side, unfortunately. And I, I moved this gun back as far as I could for the four-weight offset, so ship's overweight by quite a bit. So how about that did next to nothing, so that's not the way to go here. All right, we dropped speed. There we go. All right, we'll see if an armored cruiser can last a little longer. Torpedoes aren't really going to help me this time. It's all going to have to be about the guns. I've only got three torpedo tubes on each side. So it's still saying it's a light cruiser, but it's semi-armored. That's a lot of guns there, sir. Alright, deflected on, uh, or completely blocked on shot number one that hit him. We're going to have to score some early hits if we're going to stay alive long enough. Now, a little more armor this time around, so hopefully that keeps me going. Oh, so close. Let's slow down to get the accuracy. Nothing. Oh, that one actually ricocheted.
Another ricochet. It's gonna be tough. We gotta turn our angle so we can help and do the same thing, hopefully. I'm gonna actually change and aim at one of these other guys that isn't heading straight at me. Obviously, it's gonna have to reset some things, but I might get a better angle this way. There's a hit. Oh, he got his first hit on me. What kind of guns? Nine inch gun. Man, that's doing very little at the moment. Still gonna say 1905 is gonna be the sweet spot because you can just see he just he can do too much to me to me with 1910 ships even with a armored cruiser. Now a lot of that's flooding that looks like we're gonna be able to get on top of. I just can't get enough penetration. Oh, it caused a little bit of flooding. Turn away from him. Oh, ouch. Destroyed my main tower. Not going to help with accuracy. Already have a hard time hitting him. Yeah, I'm toast. So 1905 it is. 1910 or 1900 was a little too easy. 1910 proving to be much too difficult. So uh, we're going to wrap it up right there. Those are just some of the fun things that's interesting to play with. Um, back probably tomorrow with another historic ship build for a custom battle. Um, thinking about where I'm going to go with that. But uh, we, since we've been playing with some smaller ships, we might go ahead and go back to a battleship. Uh, and see what we can come up with. So thanks for watching. Drop a like, drop a comment if you would, and we'll see you again soon.